Hello programmers, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to add two matrices. Here we take two matrices, matrix A and matrix B. A has four rows and three columns. These are the rows of the matrix and these are the columns of the matrix. This is the first row, this is the second row, this is the third row and this is the fourth row. This is the first column this is the second column and this is the third column so the order of the matrix is 4 cross 3 matrix B also has 4 rows and 3 columns next we add these two matrices the only condition is order of both of the matrices will be same means number of rows and number of columns will be same as you can see here matrix A and matrix B each has 4 rows and 3 columns so the addition of these two matrices will be possible let's see how to do it here first we add these two numbers 2 plus 6 is 8 so write here 8 then add these two number 1 plus 3 is 4 so write here 4 we add the elements which are in the same position now consider this number the position of this number is first row and third column next we find a number in the second matrix which is in the first row and third column position means this number and now we add these two numbers 3 plus 2 is 5 so right here 5 next we add these two number 5 plus 3 is 8 so right here 8 next 2 plus 7 is 9 and this procedure is continue next we write the code let's move to the coding section here first we take input two matrices from user and then add these two matrices but before this we have to know the order of the matrices means the number of rows and number of columns so I am gonna declare here int row and column insert curl next I am going to ask user to enter number of rows printf enter number of rows and a new line next we read the row number using scanf function scanf percent d and here we refer ampersand row next we use another printf statement to ask user to enter number of columns printf enter number of columns and a new line next we read the column number using scanf function scanf percent d and then ampersand column next we read two two dimensional array and the result of the addition is stored in another two dimensional array so we need to declare here three two dimensional array so I am gonna declare here int matrix 1 and we need to write the order of the matrix that is row and then column next we declare another two dimensional array that is matrix 2 the order of the matrix will be same as the previous one so I am gonna write here row and here column we need another two dimensional array that store the result of the addition let's say it's sum and the order of sum matrix will be same as the previous one so write here row and here column and the last thing that I tell you here we need two loop counter that is i and j next we read the first matrix printf enter the elements for the first matrix and give here a new line to read the matrix we need two for loops outer for loop runs for row so I'm gonna write here for i equal to 0 i less than row and then i plus plus inside this loop we write another for loop which runs for column 
means it print multiple columns in each row so I'm gonna write here for j equal to 0 j less than column and then j plus plus next we read the number using scanf function scanf percent d and here we refer ampersand matrix 1 and inside the square bracket write i and j next we display the first matrix to the skin printf first matrix is for this case we need also two loops one outer for loop which runs for row and other one is inner for loop which runs for column and the loop will be same as the previous one so I'm gonna copy it and paste here inside this loop we print the first matrix so write here printf percent d and here we refer matrix 1 and inside the square bracket write i and j print here a new line to go next row printf backslash n put here a slash t to give some space between the elements of the matrix now let's check the output compile it and run it enter number of rows I'm going to enter 3 enter number of columns I'm going to enter 3 enter the elements for the first matrix I'm going to enter 3 2 1 5 6 4 2 8 and 9 and the first matrix is this next we read the second matrix and display to the skin in the same way so I'm gonna copy it and paste here and write here second matrix then here matrix 2 here second instead of first then here matrix 2 ok it is done next we perform the addition of two matrices for this case we need also two loop one outer for loop which runs for row that is for i equal to 0 i less than row and then i plus plus inside this loop we write another for loop which runs for column so I'm gonna write here for j equal to 0 j less than column and then j plus plus inside this loop we perform the addition operation that is sum of ij equal to matrix 1 ij plus matrix 2 ij this statement indicates here we add all the elements of two matrices and the result is stored to the matrix sum next we display the resultant matrix so I'm gonna write here printf resultant matrix is to display the resultant matrix we need the same loop so I'm gonna copy it and paste here and here we write a printf statement to print the resultant matrix printf percent d and here we refer sum of ij and then give here a new line and give here a slash t to give some space between the elements of the matrix let's check the output compile it and run it enter number of rows I'm going to enter 3 enter number of columns I'm going to enter 3 
enter the elements for the first matrix I am going to enter 1, 4, 3, 5, 6, 7, 3, 9 and 0 the first matrix is this next enter the elements for the second matrix I am going to enter 9, 1, 3, 0, 4, 6, 7, 2 and 8 and the second matrix is this and the resultant matrix is this let's see how we get the resultant matrix 1 plus 9 is 10 4 plus 1 is 5 2 plus 3 is 5 then 5 plus 0 is 5 6 plus 4 is 10 7 plus 6 is 13 3 plus 7 is 10 9 plus 2 is 11 and 0 plus 8 is 8 that's it hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel slide hunt